patients require oxygen, we can administer um, this oxygen depending on their requirements. We can administer it at different concentrations. The devices which I will now present to you are variable oxygen delivering devices. Why are they variable? Well, because although we use 100% oxygen, which we deliver it to the patient from a source, this mixes with air, which only has 21% oxygen. The percentage of oxygen is actually variable. Well, let's have a look at different devices. On the left hand side here, we have the nasal cannula. It uses low flows of oxygen, for example, two to four liters. Higher flows are actually uncomfortable to patients because they dry out at the nose. So this low flow of oxygen, when mixing with air, it actually only achieves concentrations of 30 to maximum 40% oxygen from the um, gas mixture which reaches the alveoli. This type of um, device would be used on a ward setting, for example, a patient which is receiving opioids and in case they require a bit of extra oxygen and it can also be used for patients with COPD. They need less oxygen to keep them, keep them breathing. Now, if we require higher uh, percentages of oxygen to reach the alveoli, we can use the device called a face mask. It can be used to administer higher flows of oxygen, for example, four to six liters, which reach higher concentrations of oxygen it cannot reach 100%, but it reaches significantly higher than what the nasal cannula would use. In, if you need to administer less oxygen than 40%, you cannot reduce the flow lower than 4 liters, because in the mask here, the patient breathes out CO2. And if the flow is not high enough for, the patient, for, for it to wash out the patient's CO2, the patient will breathe in the CO2 this type of, of oxygen delivering device needs higher flows of oxygen. This type of device would be used, for example, post op immediately post operatively when patients are drowsy, they're still not breathing 100% um, efficiently, or they we could use it for for emergency when higher fractions of oxygen are required. To bypass all the issues with air mixing with the amount of with the, with the oxygen we administer to the patient, reservoir mask or the non-rebreather mask was uh, created. It actually the oxygen is actually administered into a bag, a reservoir, from which the patient is breathing in hundred percent oxygen. It requires high flows of 10 to 15 liters a minute to maintain this reservoir always full. Now note here that I have said that the oxygen concentration that it can reach is 90 to 98%. The explanation to this is because of the poor fitting of the face mask, which actually allows some of the air to mix with the 100% oxygen from the bag. So it will only reach maximum of 98%. Is usually employed in emergency situations in which patients require 100% oxygen. This, the two devices um, showed here, the Venturi mask and the high flow nasal cannula, are called fixed um, oxygen delivery devices. Administer fixed amounts of oxygen depending on the flow being chosen. On the left hand side this Venturi mask bears the name from the Venturi principle. We use this type of mask in patients with COPD where we want to make sure that the set amount of oxygen does not vary depending on air mixing because again COPD patients rely on their hypoxemic drive which is abolished by increasing um, percentages of oxygen. So we want to avoid that. On the right hand side here the high flow nasal cannula actually relies 
on the machine, this machine uses air, which is delivered then at extremely high flows, 40 to 60 liters per minute, which depending on the amount of oxygen that is being mixed with, we can administer extra amount of oxygen and the amount of oxygen then delivered can be adjusted at a fixed concentration. Now the added advantage of high flow nasal cannula at such high flows is that it also creates a positive um, pressure in the alveoli at the end of expiration.